I'd like to introduce you to a new product from LogoPress 3 called Progressive Blank Companion. Progressive Blank Companion will flatten a 3D formed part in several intermediate stages. We're going to take this part that you see. This is the completely formed part and you can see we've got the side flanges that are formed and in the station before they're not formed. So this is the, the main form I'm calling that one the main form, and this is a preform. And then we bend up before the preform, and we've got a flat blank. And this strip, in fact, I had designed a die for this strip about seven years ago. So this was an actual die design. I sure wish I had a progressive blank companion back then, I'll tell you that. So let's switch to the part that we're going to do and start a stopwatch running and start progressive blank companion and we're going to rename the station mark name the station and we're going to pinch this it's a two out die so we're going to pinch the entire entity so it's back to back so that surface cannot move and then we're going to unform or unbend or whatever you want to call it this flange. And as it's unforming, it's computing the stress, strain, thinning, etc. And if we look at it, you can see it's nice tangent to the attached edges. As I said, we can look at the strain stress, the thickness variation, the thinning, and the blue is the gathering of course, and the mesh. And we can also animate the mesh and you can see the mesh elements getting longer so that's your thinning that's occurring. And then we will validate and that creates the body and this particular body with only one flange doesn't get used in the die so we call this one not used in strip and then we're going to unbend this other flange and apply that the meshing is done and now it's solving the mesh elements and when we zoom in and look at this one we can see a definite problem here so that's not what we want it to look like. So we've got uh, several tools in Progressive Blank Companion. We can go in there and edit this. We're going to locally modify the surface. We're going to delete this. We call it a tangency indicator. And there's the one that's really causing the problem. Let's delete that one. And just to clean up, we'll get rid of this one. And this one, let's change the direction like so. And let's add a tangency indicator here. And the direction we want it to be is tangent with this edge. And apply that. This goes much faster because the mesh is already there. And as you can see, much, much nicer. So that one is good. And this creates the body. And now we're going to exit Progressive Blank Companion. And you can see some things in the tree that I've already added there. Those are just SolidWorks features. And I'm going to add a split line here. 
and there, and OK. And so I've added those things in the tree ahead of time. Let's add a new stage. Because this video isn't about using SolidWorks, it's about Progressive Blank Companion. Right click and select Tangency. And this time we're not going to go tangent to a boundary, we're going to uh, go up to a surface. So there are some imported surfaces that I put in there ahead of time. And again, the video just would have been three or four or five minutes longer if I'd have done that during the video. So for the sake of time, I did it ahead of time. See, in the Y direction, we want that to be able to move. And then we hit Compute. So we've got uh, a number of tools that you can constrain movement on the part as you see fit. meshes very quickly, but there are a lot of mesh elements to compute at this point. And as I said, we're going up to a surface, which is going to give us a very, very nice, clean surface. And it's just about done. It takes a little bit longer right towards the end of the computing. But can you imagine how long this would take normally compared to the time that we're taking doing it? We're six minutes in so far. Here's the surface that we're going to fall onto, like so. Hit OK. Let's keep moving along. And then we name this one, this is the preform, what we're looking at on the screen right now. And now we're going to start working towards the next station. This one's also going to be on a surface. Again, I imported the surface already. This is what it looks like. So that's what this, the part's going to go up against. That's what the mesh will flatten up to. And let's constrain this entity and lock it in the X direction, but we want it to be free in the Y direction. It needs to be able to move in the Y direction. And apply that one. And Progressive Blank Companion is the result of years of work. As you can imagine, there are some very complex algorithms in the code. Just about eight minutes in and uh, so we're taking a complex shape part and automatically or semi-automatically creating the intermediate complex shape parts and there we've gone up against that surface and create the body and now we will exit progressive blank companion and manually insert a station mark and these station marks uh, the body files get imported let's name that get imported into the strip layout so a strip layout goes uh, quite quickly when you've got these bodies I've got to reverse the material on that you can see the arrow shows the direction of the material and unbend this okay and it's unbent. 
and inserting another station mark and this one of course is the flat blank. And then I do a control Q and hide control Q rebuilds the bodies. And this is a great feature hide show the imported bodies. You can see you can see the individual stations overlaid over one another. You can hide or show whatever combination of parts that you want. It's very convenient. So here you can see from the stopwatch that in less than 10 minutes we modeled the intermediate stages, complex shape stages, using Progressive Blank Companion by Logopress 3. Thank you for watching.